Now at 11 o'clock, the storm station with all eyes on Erica as the tropical storm churns in the Atlantic. And it seems Erica has its eyes on the islands and then on us as the cone of concern at this point does include South Florida. Hello again, everyone. Erica's next move, well, that is hard to predict. We do have night team coverage of the storm, and we're going to begin with Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow in the Storm Center with the just-issued 11 o'clock advisory. Phil. Indeed, it is in, and nothing new. This remains a weak tropical storm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean as of 11 p.m., 16.0 north. We're looking at 54.4 west. 40 mile per hour winds moving a little slower to the west now at 18, 495 miles basically east of the Leeward Islands. Satellite imagery is showing that the system is still moving to the west due to high pressure sitting to the north, but you can see it's kind of looking very ragged, and that has been the case basically almost all afternoon and early evening. Now, a recon plane went in earlier tonight, found it poorly organized. The top winds are basically only on the east side of this tropical storm. It really is trying to hold together here. The center of Erica sitting right about there. The western half is still exposed to the elements. A little dry air has filtered in. Meanwhile, there are some thunderstorms trying to develop here on the backside. So even though it's not looking too good, it's trying to hold its own. Here's the very latest suite of model runs. High pressure again, pushing the system towards the northwest. Could be impacting the islands. And then it looks like it's going to run into a big wall of air here and wind. That's due to the jet stream. Now the models, uh, they really don't know what to do with it here. Some models bounce the system off of the jet stream, headed out into the uh, western Atlantic. Others take it right across South Florida and into the Gulf of Mexico. Anytime you see this kind of fanning out from models, means that they really don't have a good handle on the system. And that's because it is poorly organized. Now this is the official forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center. Remember, intensity forecasting is one of the most difficult things to do. They're keeping it as a tropical storm as it makes its way across Puerto Rico. And then once it enters the Bahamas, it picks up a little steam and it could be a category one system Sunday night, 75 miles per hour. Now it could be anywhere inside that red ring. So right now, South Florida is in that cone of concern. We should just keep our eyes on it just in case it survives the next few days and it indeed arrives here by the early part of next week. A couple of things can happen here. First of all, if it remains weak, high pressure will continue to push it to the west, weakening it, dumping some much needed rain across the Caribbean islands. However, if it does manage somehow to get its act together and get stronger, then it looks like it will follow that path into the Bahamas and we could be dealing with a uh, hurricane very close to South Florida by then. But now, let's go and take a look at what the uh, islands it can be expecting over the next few days. We go to meteorologist Brent Cameron at the Southern Weather Center for more. Brent? And of course, here in South Florida, even the Bahamas, we have a little more time to prepare to watch, wait, and see what happens with Tropical Storm Erica. For other places like some of the Caribbean islands, they have a lot less time as it approaches now about 500 miles away from some of those islands. So let's talk about some of those brushes. It is going to include the chance for some uh, decent rains of th two to four inches. This will be much needed rain for some of the islands. Winds uh, less welcomed, but it could rough up the seas anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. Here's what's important and new with this advisory. We have all these watches for the northern Leeward Islands, about a oh, dozen or so islands under tropical storm watch. But now added to that is Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And now a warning has been issued, upgraded for Anguilla, St. Eustatius, and St. Martin. Phil, for, Phil will have your entire forecast and more ahead. Well, we'll take this opportunity to remind you to sign up for Cone on your phone, the app that we put out there. You can get the latest forecast information set straight to your cell phone.